Tool sharpening has come a long way since high maintenance water stones and highly consumable sandpaper and honing films dominated our workshop. More and more people are turning to super abrasives like diamonds and CBN. I have CBN wheels on my bench grinder, I have CBN discs on my workshop, I have diamond wheels on my Tormac system, and I own both diamond and CBN bench stones and other accessories for sharpening by hand. So what's the difference between diamond and CBN? Is one really better than the other when it comes to sharpening? As someone who has a fair amount of experience using both, I believe I can answer those questions quickly and efficiently, which is what I'll do in this short and I think you'll find really interesting tutorial. The process of making synthetic diamonds in CBN is very similar. You apply lots of heat and lots of pressure. The resulting crystal structure of the two is also very similar. But diamonds and CBN are not the same. Diamonds are pure carbon. It's the hardest known material to mankind. CBN, which stands for cubic boron nitride, is made from boron and nitrogen, and it's perhaps the second hardest material known to mankind. So does this mean that CBN is second best to diamond when it comes to sharpening? Not at all. In fact, both diamond and CBN abrasives come with their own sets of pros and cons. Because diamonds are harder, they're generally more durable. This diamond-coated sharpening stone may last longer than this CBN stone if you use a light touch. Because while diamonds are harder, they're also a little bit more brittle. So if you apply excessive pressure while you're using a diamond stone, that may cause the sharp points of the crystals to fracture and become dull. At first, that'll make a very fine grit stone act like a much coarser grit stone. But with enough abuse, you can ruin it. A CBN stone shouldn't be abused either, but the crystals are less brittle in my opinion. So there's less danger of damaging a CBN coated stone by using too much pressure on it. Of course, that doesn't mean you should toss your diamond stone and get a CBN one. If you're disciplined to use the proper amount of pressure, letting the diamonds do the work rather than trying to rush the job, the diamond abrasive is likely to last longer than the CBN in this type of manual sharpening application. But that doesn't make diamond the best abrasive either especially when you move from the bench to the grinder. Because when you're sharpening by hand, you aren't producing much heat at all. But when you really speed things up at the grinder, you generate lots of heat. At those temperatures, the steel will absorb carbon from the diamonds, creating a chemical reaction that forms graphite and weakens the diamond abrasive. That's why you don't see that many diamond-coated wheels marketed for bench grinders. At high speeds and temperatures, they would just wear out quickly unless you're really careful. But CBN bench grinder wheels are very popular because CBN seems to thrive at high speeds and temperatures. Not only will the abrasive crystals remain intact, but their high thermal conductivity actually draws heat away from the tool. In fact, as little as 10% of the grinding energy is transmitted into the tool as heat. As a comparison, a common aluminum oxide grinding wheel, such as you normally find on a bench grinder, transfers as much as 70% of the energy to the tool as heat. That's why it's so easy to blue and lose your temper with a regular grinding wheel. While you can overheat a tool with a CBN plated wheel, it is much more forgiving than standard grinding wheels. One thing that doesn't play nice with CBN though is carbide. Carbide is very hard and while CBN will abrade carbide, it does so slowly and with significant wear to the abrasive. Carbide is better sharpened with diamonds. So let's bottom line this for the average woodworker that's watching this. If you sharpen by hand, diamond bench stones can last longer than CBN if you don't abuse them. Your stone can also be used to sharpen your carbide cutters, such as you might find on turning tools or even helical head jointers and planers. CBN stones can't be used to sharpen carbide but they're still very durable, and while they may not last as long as a diamond stone, CBN coated stones can be significantly less expensive per square inch compared to diamond stones. So in my opinion, it's really a trade-off between the price of the stone and the life you might expect from it. The same is true of slow speed power sharpening systems like the WorkSharp or the Tormac. Both CBN and diamond wheels are compatible with these systems. In the case of the WorkSharp, you can get really nice CBN plates in different grits. I love these for flattening the backs of tools. 
diamond options for the Work Sharp are harder to come by, so CBN wins there. I use diamond wheels on my Tormek, though, because I believe they'll last longer than the CBN wheels on a slow speed system like that. But the available CBN options are less expensive than the Tormek diamond options, and CBN tends to be available in a wider range of grits. So personally, I plan to stick with my diamond wheels on the Tormek, but I may add a couple grits of CBN to my set as well, possibly a 200 grit for a really coarse grind. Finally, when it comes to a bench grinder, there is no question that CBN is the best choice when grinding hardened steel, though you can use diamond wheels on a bench grinder for carbide if you must. CBN is far superior to standard grinding wheels in every way, including price, because CBN will outlast a lifetime supply of less expensive wheels. And you can use the flat surfaces on the CBM wheels to grind flat on the sides, something that would be a dangerous process on a regular grinding wheel. Honestly, super abrasives like CBN and diamonds have changed the way I sharpen my tools in my shop, and I couldn't be happier about it. I'll link to my favorites below this video. Please check them out because there are a lot of junk wheels and stones out there and you don't want to get ripped off. Also, be sure to visit the link to our sharpening section of our website which is full of more tutorials on the subject to help you as well. See you next time. Some folks are a pleasure to work with, like Ken Rizzo over at woodturnerswonders.com. That's where I get my turning stuff, like sanding supplies and CBN wheels for my grinder. Seriously, if you haven't seen what CBN wheels can do for you, you are missing out. I'll put a link below this video. Use it and tell Ken I sent you.